Hey everyone, Viking back with some more AEW Fight Forever. The Hookhausen DLC is here, and we're going to take a look at Hook in this video. Hook and Danhausen are out. New content. Let's see how he plays. Going against a little jungle boy, Jack Perry. Got to snatch that title from him. So, I've played with Hook a few matches. Um, he is kind of a brawler. I would say like a brawler, striker, uh, suplex man. All his strong grapples are suplexes. And his signature is a suplex, which is okay, I guess. But most of his other heavy grapples are variations of the T-Bone or the Exploder Suplex, so he doesn't have a lot of variety, I don't think. He's got some punch combos and uh, some ground and pound. Um, otherwise, I don't really know what his... He doesn't have bailout. Um, and his... It seems like he has a limited move set to me, but I could just be because I haven't gotten too deep into him. Uh, his finisher is a submission hold. Rear naked choke of some type. That's a cool move. Judo throw from the corner. So here's his signature. It's kind of a what is that, a T-bone suplex or something like that? I mean, it's pretty good. It looks pretty good. But I feel like his regular strong grapples are the same type of moves. So I don't know. You'll have to verify or, or debunk that yourself. But like his dad, Taz... Taz did a bunch of those back in the day in ECW, so it makes sense if he's kind of borrowing from his dad's moveset. The human suplex machine, Taz. Here's his uh, finisher. Now, is it just me, or does he just look like he's sitting there gingerly applying it? I don't know if I like that. There's no torque in the animation of, of his finisher. He just kind of slaps it on and then falls asleep. So I don't know. So here I'm doing a uh, match against Eddie Kingston, a lights out match, and it didn't go too well. I feel like Eddie was way is way more like powerful than Hook is, which is. I guess fine, but it was a tough match. I'll end up losing, you'll see, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm sold on Hook, to be honest. I want to like him because he's new, but I was just was kind of bored with his moveset. And he only has one signature and one finisher. And I think out of the two, out of the pack, I prefer Danhausen. Uh... Yeah, I think that, that the play style of Hook is just not might not be my cup of tea, but it's good to have him. You know, I'll uh, I'll beat on him and you know use him in matches, but I wasn't too uh, impressed with the overall play. He has his combos. He he has the same combo. I suppose I could change it. Maybe I don't know if I can do that, but in the when you just hit the punch combo, he does he does some punches. And when you press forward and hit the punch combo, he does the same combo, which a lot of wrestlers have a variation, a different combo. They have two different combos. So that right there is kind of... And then his kicks are garbage. And they're the same as Danhausen's. It's that front kick. I don't really like that. But who knows? He might use it. And it's cool. I mean, I'll still play as him. I mean, I just want to get so compared to the two. I think that Danhausen is the better character for fun factor. That was a nice little camera cut. 
But like I said, I'll probably give him some more time, and I might come around on him. But both of uh, both the the Danhausen and Hook have just one outfit, which is lame as shit. Um, like I said, they really they really need to start getting more content in this game as far as outfits for the attires for the wrestlers that are in the game and whatnot and new match types and all that because um, yeah like I don't I don't know if how much it's going to keep my attention just playing as these new characters for a couple days and then it's like what then what I want to get back. I might take one of. The, I might take a wrestler through. I haven't played Road to the Elite for a while, a month or two, maybe more like two months. So maybe I'll take like a AEW wrestler through the um, through the Road to Elite just to see if it's fun. Maybe Keith Lee or someone, but. Like I said, it's cool they added, you know, Danhausen Hook, welcome additions to the roster. Um, but like I said, it's been three months and we have six characters, no new arenas, which is the arenas. I mean, this is an arena I threw together using the parts, but I mean, there's no backstage area. I mean, if we can do a backstage brawl and just like in that bar and stadium stampede, that'd be fun. So they need to curate the content they have and start divvying it out into new, uh, new modes, you know. To have a backstage, take like four or five areas from the stadium stampede map and incorporate it into this, into the main game. And you'll fence off or wall off so you're stuck in just that room. But then let us have a match in there. Pick up some weapons like lights out, you know, bar stool and smash it over them. And that'd be fun. They have the assets. I mean, they just got to get it together in, in, a, in a different mode and then put it out in an update. So anyway, this is the final video that I'm doing on the new Hookhausen review DLC I have check out my Danhausen video I just dropped before this if you want to see Danhausen and uh, yeah we'll see what the future of this game holds coming up I hope it's not done but you know if it is then shame on AEW and shame on THQ for putting out a half ass game with no support but if they pull a No Man's Sky and they start updating it and, you know, ironing things out, then I will come around and I will continue to play and I probably, my attitude will change a little bit. But as of right now, like I said in the last one, I'm disappointed. It's a fun base. It's a fun base. And then they just uh, didn't keep the momentum going. So shame on them. I definitely won't uh, be buying it fight forever too right out of the gate because of how uh how this game panned out but if they do add more stuff and they add more support to this game then maybe i'll eat my words and i'll take it back but i don't know it's a fun game with bad management is what i think it is so take that for what it is i'm gonna let the little rest of the match play out you guys take care of yourselves viking we'll be back with another video in the future see you then bye